Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. We've been following along with the astronauts who are going to fly the next shuttle mission to the International Space Station. What you are about to see is the crew practicing for their mission, the team that is responsible for training them, and get a sense of what it's like to fly the shuttle. This is STS-131, behind the scenes. Oh, my name is Joaquin Andujo. Andujo, not Andujar like the baseball player, Andujo. All right, all right, who's Mr. DPS today? Justin Smith. Justin Smith. Val, what's your last name again? Ethan. Ethan? What, what, what do you got? This is my OJT. What does that mean? On job trainee. That means a new person who's learning from you, the a expert. A new person who's learning from me, the expert. Are you learning anything? Oh, yeah. Is there a quiz later? <laughs> no? Yes? She's learning. She, yes, she's doing very well. We got to make. Ashley, what's your last name? Ashley Bailey. Okay, we can probably figure that out. Uh, you're not making that up, are you? Sounds like a very nice name. Uh, who are you, what, what do you got going over there? Uh, I'm Steven Crooks. Your PDRS, which is a fancy way of saying the robot arm. So what did I miss? You missed Joaquin rapping, freestyle rapping. Yeah. Go ahead, do a little bit, will you? Uh, no, I, uh, Why? <laughs> Come on. He has some music on the computer. Really? Yes. All right, come on, let's do it. This is NASA and... <laughs> come on, no one's going to see this anyway. I promise, no one will even watch. It's only on NASA television. No one ever looks at YouTube or nothing like that. Come on. Uh, Come on, so describe, what did he do? What is it? Well, he was, it, the room was chatting about something, and he was pretending not to hear, so he, he had a rap where he said, uh, let's see here, you guys have no idea how no. hard I work. I sim all day, and you guys think I'm a jerk. <laughs> that was the start to the freestyle. He needs to finish the song. All right, come on. <laughs> we really don't know the rest. I just made it up. We're not going to get anywhere, it's are gone. we? It's gone. It's no. gone. No. What a shame. He, he's, he's freezing up on this again. So Dottie, you used to go as ML ML in your previous career, yeah. which is very interesting. Uh, and what, what, what did you do before you were an astronaut? I very was a cool. high school teacher. You're a high, like a no kid in high school teacher. Like you're going school. to the high school no with these kids, with high school kids. Yes, teenagers. ninth graders mostly. Ninth grade. And what did you teach these kids? Uh, earth science and astronomy. Earth, that's what you taught. You thought uh -huh. it was, okay. So, how do you go from doing that to doing this kind of stuff here inside of the sim? How did how did this happen? It's really lucky. <laughs> and we're all very lucky, but. <laughs> okay, so so I taught high school. Lucky for NASA, I would add as well. Right. Oh. Good well, to get you. But go ahead. Nice. What happened? Um, so I taught high school in Vancouver, Washington, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, I had gone to space camp when I was a kid. And I mm -hmm. loved space and. Earth science, um, mm -hmm. that's what I majored in right. college. And one day I'm teaching my astronomy class, and uh, one of my students says, How do you go to the bathroom in space? And we get this question a lot now as astronauts, so. Right. But at the time, I didn't know. I mean, yeah. I knew there, there couldn't be stuff floating around, but yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, the yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. So I went home and Googled it, and uh, at the, pretty much the same time when I was Googling it, I came across um, the, the website for NASA that said, yeah. We're hiring teachers. This uh, class selection is mm -hmm. also taking teacher applicants. And I remember going home and telling my husband, "Oh my gosh, I have to apply. It's like the perfect job for me." <laughs> but I, but I was like, but I realized in applying that I might not get this job. Sure, I mean it's a one one out of a yeah. few thousand. You know, yeah. So one out of a but million. Anyway, I went ahead and applied, yep. and I went back the next day and told the student how to go to bathroom space. All right, <laughs> but you but you applied. Yeah. And then what happened? And then I waited for a very long time, almost yeah. a whole other year before right. we found out, like after the interviews. So you came in, you got in, came in for an interview, and then you yeah. got picked. So, what did you tell your students about, uh, about this when you went? You went back to the classroom. How'd you yeah. find out? How'd you well, find out? Well, I found out. I so we got interviewed back in November, and then so my students knew. Wait, November of what? Of like 2003. 2003, right? Okay. All right. And uh, my students knew that I had gone down to Florida, but or not to Florida, here, yeah. Houston, for that. And then they were like really excited about it. Yeah. I mean, their teacher got interviewed, but I figured that would be the last step. Yeah. And so from November to April, it was like a lot of waiting, waiting, and I, you know, I figured in April, like, oh, I'm not going to get it, no yeah. big deal. And then I came back from spring break, and the yeah. Monday I came back from spring break, on April 12th, I got a call, and I picked However. it up, and on the other hand, other end is um, Bob Cabana, and I, and I knew that it was either good or bad, news um, to get this call and so I was like oh 
um, maybe I should sit down. Maybe I'm <laughs> teaching right now. Maybe yeah. I shouldn't get this call. Yeah, yeah. And he said, oh, no, 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 don't worry. We want to hire you. And then I just kind of freaked out. <laughs> I was like, In front oh of the students. Yeah. 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 And uh, my students were really excited. Yeah, what did they say? Were they uh, well, start then we jumping just around? Well, totally changed the lesson. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> yeah. <laughs> we went from. Like I was talking about daylight savings because you know it's that time of year. We were uh -huh. talking about why it's important, and we just stopped that lesson and went into space immediately. Yeah. And I don't even remember the rest of the day. It was more like a blur. It's incredible. So what do you got there? That was shrimp cocktail. Did you eat all your food? It was delicious. Was it any good? It was awesome. Really? I couldn't believe it. Is that yeah, your favorite? It tasted like real shrimp. I don't Did know you it's shrimp. Hello, Dottie. On the other hand, do not <laughs> eat bran cereal. Why? That's not a nice thing to tell the kids. <laughs> it doesn't taste You mean bran cereal in space. That's right. So you should eat more of it on the ground because it's good for you, right? Right, right, right. right it's okay. heart healthy. Is it good for you? What? I think it is good for yeah, you, it isn't is it? Good for you. It's okay, it's heart healthy. That's good. Heart but you didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? It got too soggy? Because you put some water on it. Yeah, it's yeah. Kind of soggy. <laughs> no <laughs> raisins. <laughs> it, kind of not too sweet. It has that fake milk in it, though. The powdered oh, yeah, milk. Yeah, yeah, fake milk. No good, though. Yeah. You didn't like not it. Not good. What are you looking at, Tex? So, Mike, this is uh, this is our what our flight plan. Right. And uh, you know, we we uh, we get updates to this flight plan every morning. Yeah. And uh, it basically describes um, each crew member has a column, right? And it, it describes in uh, in five minute increments what our uh, what our plan is for all day. All right. And so uh, Naoko and I were just going over uh, right. the flight plan. It's Naoko there. Yeah, mm -hmm. the right. flight plan uh, after docking. So we docked to the space station already right. about an hour ago, and now we're uh, looking to what things we have to do to uh, get the hatches open. Right, because you're still, you're not, you haven't seen any of those guys right. yet. Right, we got to wait for the leak checks to get completed, and uh -huh. we've got to open these hatches, and then we'll go right. ahead and see the rest of the crew. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of things we have to do before that as well. Uh, we, uh, we have a lot of activity uh, in the morning of rendezvous to power up the vehicle completely to get all the systems running. Right. Well, once we dock, we don't need all the systems anymore, so we power things down to save, save a little, save some power. power. So that's what those guys are doing on flight deck right now. They're right. powering down the vehicle. Noko and I are looking at what we have to do to okay. get the hatches open. But we'll go to the space station, we'll have a safety briefing, and then we'll get back to work. This, this, this evening, Noko and uh, Stephanie are going to go over and they're yeah, going to have there's some talk on the radio right yeah. now. So they're going to go over and they're going to uh, remove the orbiter boom from the orbiter with the space station arm. Right. You're going to do this. Then they're going to hand that off. And they're going to hand that off to the shuttle arm. Okay. So we got to get ready for tomorrow's activities. Tomorrow activity, the big day for the big thing for tomorrow is Nelco pulls the MPLM yeah. out of the okay. payload bay. Oh my goodness. And attaches it to the space station. Okay. Well, anyway, that's what we're doing. We're studying what has to be done between. This now is and just now. like you'll be doing in space. It's just like. Yeah. Look at your list of stuff. Just like. It. And uh, be prepared for uh, what comes next. If only we can be this organized at home. <laughs> you know, you get a list you like know, that from at home. My wife, if my wife could give me a five-minute daily plan, I could execute it really well. <laughs> Zebulon. It sounds. Doesn't it sound like something like you know? I think it's cool. It sounds like something from I'm from the planet like Orc. Planet. Yeah, exactly. I'm Zebulon. from Zebulon. Zebulon. You were destined to work in the space program with a name like Zebulon. I'm moving really close just to yeah. hear you. Come on, what do you know? 19A prep and post guy. What? 19A EVA prep. Okay, now what is that supposed to mean? 19A. What does that mean? I don't even know. I've heard about that before. Never heard. I mean, I've heard of it before. Explain it to us. It's a 19th assembly flight, or this is what is it? This is the. 19th assemb American Assembly flight in the, uh, the Assembly of the International Space Station. It's okay. the STS-131 uh, shuttle mission. Right. And this crew is uh, going up. They're going to be performing three VA. Oh, okay. Now you're getting boring on them. Okay, okay. So, but what you're doing here is you're going to go, and these guys are practicing getting ready to go do their spacewalks, right? Yeah. And what's your job on this mission? You, you were, uh, you the spacewalk lead guy for this guy, or what do you, what do you? This guy's a spacewalk lead guy. No way. Okay. Yeah, so, so Dave, Dave Cohen's really the guy in charge here. Well, give us your full name for the camera. Uh, David Cohen. I don't know Dave Cohen. Uh, and and you're the lead. So what are you here for, Zeb? I'm, I'm just here watching and learning. Rick Mastracchio. That's him over there. Okay. Now the, we should we got us both in the frame at the same at the same time because we always get people mix us up because you're a really good astronaut. I'm just trying to get by. But our last names yeah. are very similar. Rick's is Mastracchio and mine is Massimino. 
Now, up in the Northeast, where we're from, there's lots of Italians. That's a very common name. Yeah. yeah, they know that they can tell the difference. But here, they don't think what it's, they, you know, they see Massimino or Strzok, they think it's the, same, the same, same person, right? Once in a while, I get a picture of myself, and on the back of the official NASA description, we need Mike Massimino during training. <laughs> so sometimes I get those. They mix us up. Now, this is your third space flight, right? right? And uh, what do you... What, what do you got? What are you doing on this one that uh, that you're excited about? The biggest yeah. thing that I'm doing is doing the spacewalks. We're doing uh, three EVAs on this mission, three spacewalks. Right. Clay Anderson and myself will be going out each time, and we're basically swapping out a large ammonia tank on board the space station. You're going to be working the arm when this is going on. You're going to uh, work yes. the robot arm. Yeah, uh, Stephanie Wilson and I will, you know, retrieve MPLL. Italian Leonardo, yeah. Oh, Jim, yeah, from the payload bay, and we will install it onto the space station. So. And, and that's before the spacewalk, so. Yeah, that's before the spacewalk. So, so you're just rendezvousing this simulation. The more you're going to do that, that, that logistics module, which is like a big closet, right, with all kinds of stuff, and you're going to attach it to the space station, you're going to take all the stuff out, mm -hmm. right, and then you're going to put all, they're gonna put all the stuff in there? Is that what yeah. happens? So you're going to pack that true. stuff, all the yeah, stuff in there? all the stuff you need to pack into the MPLA, MPLA. so that we can bring it back. Bring it back there. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing up a lot of big spare part ORUs, we call them, LRUs. Right. Stocking up the space stations, because when the shuttle's gone, they can't bring up these big spare parts anymore. They also can't bring stuff down. Or down. So what's the stuff to bring it down? Anything interesting? Yeah, some, you know, uh, like a temporary sleep station, mm -hmm. which uh, Sandy, used okay. and also a couple experiments, samples. Right. Is that a done? Japanese yes. experiment? Yeah, Japanese experiment. Yeah, Rick Mastracchio and play with retrieve during the EVAs. You find this useful? Yeah, it's good training. Yeah, it's yeah. good to be it's yeah. good yeah. training get, for me, yeah. Yeah, get into Rookies, that. Yeah. And this is your first flight. Yeah, my first flight. And so. You're a, you're a uh, Japanese mm -hmm. astronaut, Yes. but you've trained with all of us. Oh, yes, yeah. Was that okay? Did it, you know, you've run a lot of sure. Americans all the time. <laughs> Was that okay? It's fun. It's you feel fun. like you're almost like an American now? Or? Oh, yeah. You do, really? For five years now. So really? My daughter is, you know, considers herself as Texan. That's right, yeah. That's right. How old is your daughter? Oh, she's seven years old. She's seven years old. This is your first flight in the open, so I know you're excited, oh, right? Yeah, you're very, yeah. very excited. Yeah. And all of Japan is probably excited, too. Oh, yeah, I hope so, right? too, yeah. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. But you, Rick, this is like number three. Is anyone even going to show up? What, uh, what's uh, going on? I what think my wife and kids might show up. Yeah, are they going to come? If they're not busy. They're <laughs> Yeah, the third time you're not as anxious. You're uh, you know, it's your first mission. You want to hurry up and do it because you can't wait. Now your third yeah. mission is like, well, it'll happen. I'm not worried. Yeah. I know it'll happen eventually. So, but it's always fun. Well, thanks for talking with us. You guys are still you're busy, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. I'm waiting ten minutes to check a number so that I can wait twenty more minutes. All right. All right. Well, thanks. For, <laughs> thanks for talking with us. All right. Hey, Mike. Thanks, Mike. All right. We'll see you guys see again. Discovery Houston, autograph two for Rick.